Volvo has taken an old, tried-and-true power management technique and given it a new spin. This new powertrain option is called adaptive gearing. It's ideally suited to fleets that run a lot of empty miles like fuel and bulk haulers, who often run loaded one way and empty the other. I'm Jim Park, the equipment editor at Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking Magazines. I'm near Brigham City, Utah this time with Volvo's adaptive gearing powertrain management system. The uh, adaptive gearing is an interesting concept. In order to improve fuel efficiency in certain situations, they take a 12-speed transmission, the I-shift, and they uh, spec it with an overdrive, and then they lock out 12th gear when the truck is loaded. So that gives you uh, cruising in 11th gear, where you've got a bit more uh, horsepower uh, and uh, a bit more drivability. That uh, is probably the optimum gear for a loaded truck, but when the truck is empty and returning back to base, the transmission opens up and you get 12th gear back, and now you can cruise down the road at uh, 1150 RPM rather than 13 or 1400. So the XE adaptive gearing kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You've got the uh, horsepower and drivability when you need it when you're loaded, and when you're empty, you got the low RPM for fuel efficiency. That's just the way fleets used to use 13-speed transmissions back when they worried about lugging engines at low RPM under heavy load. Leave it an eighth direct when loaded and use eighth over when empty. Let's talk to fleet owner Gene Bryce, who uses the adaptive gearing system and find out a little about his operation. Hello, my name is Gene Bryce. I'm co-owner of Idaho Milk Transport, located out of Burley, Idaho. We uh, do a lot of work loaded out and empty back. This adaptive gearing and lift axle configuration we're talking about today fits us to a T and many other applications also. The adaptive gearing, again, goes back to using the sweet spot in that engine versus the torque needed to run for the least amount of fuel. We run out loaded with our I-shift, and we run out loaded in 11th gear, which is direct on an I-shift. Uh, we're using 62 mile an hour right now, and we come back empty at the 65 range. And that 65 mile an hour is running in the 11, 11 and a quarter RPM, which you slow the engine down immensely using less fuel. And that's the basis behind that adaptive gearing, being able to select what you need for your requirements. The loaded side, I think we're running at 13, around 1375, 1365 to run that 62 mile an hour, which gives us all the torque horsepower we need to run 80,000 pounds down the road. Uh, through this technology, we've also dropped horsepower down. We used to run in the 455s, 475s. We're down now running 405 horse. And all the technologies combined is what's achieving this fuel mileage issue. We've heard why he uses adaptive gearing, and we've heard how it works in his operation. Now let's find out how well it works. Our fuel mileage right now, we are pushing, I just pulled some reports on a truck that run last week and we're pushing 9.64 is what I pulled hard figures. Those are not dash figures, those are actual figures off the fuel pump and the miles ran. And that was loaded one way and empty back. We used to be happy with high sevens. We were thrilled getting into the eights and now we are we're approaching nine pluses is a realistic issue on over the road 80,000 pound settings. And I don't feel that the 10 mark is out of, out of touch. I, I, think we, I think we will get there as we go forward. 9.64 miles per gallon, real fuel burned and real miles run. There's nothing to sneeze at there. Idaho Milk Transport is also using Volvo's adaptive loading system, which we cover in the other video in this series. It not only saves fuel, you reduce tire wear too. When combined, adaptive loading and adaptive gearing are a fuel-saving machine. Volvo is the only truck maker currently offering a 6x2 with this truly unique package, it's a weight saver, a tire saver, and a fuel saver. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park, not too far from Brigham City, Utah, with Volvo's newest 6x2 featuring adaptive gearing and adaptive loading. <laughs>